Hello, dear friends. I'm here under this fantastic tree that is more maybe than 200 years old in the city of Prague in this beautiful park. And I'm here to talk about astrological transits for the month of July 2019. So this is a, the, this monthly horoscope for July 2019. July is so rich in the celestial events that there, there are so many important transits and aspects. That would take me 10 minutes just to list them. And since many of you don't want to list, listen to such lists, I will shorten our story by mentioning only some of the most important ones. Firstly, mainly I will speak about lunar activity and eclipses. Then I will talk about important days in July and say what do they mean. So it will be something in the second part of the video, something like astrological calendar of July. And at the end, I will briefly say something about each zodiac sign. I put timestamps into the description below for every part of the video so that you can switch into that part that you are more interested in. So let's see lunar activity first. New moon is on the 2nd of July in Cancer, which is at the same time total solar eclipse. And full moon is on the 16th of July in Capricorn, which is at the same time partial lunar eclipse. Important transits are that the sun is in Cancer until the 24th and then it is in Leo. Since the 8th of July, Mercury is retrograde and Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto and Chiron are retrograde during the whole month. So there are many important planets that are retrograde. Now we are going to talk about the eclipses and transits that I have mentioned already in some of my previous videos. You may wish to see them. So let me tell you which. Those videos are Changing Time Eclipses in Cancer and Capricorn Summer 2019. That's one. Also similar video, Summer Eclipses 2018, if you want to go back because these things are connected. Then there is a video Saturn in Capricorn. And the last that I would recommend is a video New Direction Lunar Nodes Cancer Capricorn Axis 2018 until 2020. So as we saw, solar and lunar eclipse are happening in July. I guess you will look at a special video on this topic, so I'm not going to repeat all that. But I would like to add a few things. Months with eclipses are more intense than those without. Generally speaking, eclipses have strong influence on people who have planets in Cancer and Leo or have expressionary significant moon in their horoscope, such as the strong moon in Cancer in the first house, fourth, ten or eighth, or problematic moon, moon in Scorpio, for example, it's very problematic one. I mean, it's hard to understand it. Of course, we can deal with any any as planetary aspect we have. So if somebody, for example, has moon in Scorpio in the first, fourth, eighth, twelfth, then those people will also strongly react on eclipses. Uh, also Leos, people who have sun in Leo, for example, because they don't like those states of mind when you, they're deeply unconscious, what is happening always when it's the eclipse of the sun. So the first total solar eclipse will happen on July the 2nd at the 10th degree of Cancer and is generally positive if we can say so. It will mainly affect people with planets from the 5th to the 15th degree of Cancer. It will affect also all other people who have planets on the, in the cardinal signs. Those are Cancer, Capricorn, Libras and Aries. But will also affect all of us because we all have cancer somewhere in our horoscope. For all of us, cancer signifies one area of our life. And in this area of our life are coming new challenges, new goals, new possibilities. We can even gain something that is very concrete. It is time to accept those new things 
and to be ready for that in a way and to be mature for this. If we are, then that's very good. If you don't know your horoscope or you don't know where is cancer in your horoscope, you can calculate your horoscope easily by using my first lesson uh, in the astrological course, online astrological course that now I offer on the web pages symbolicthinking.net. This link will be under this video, so if you wish to calculate your own horoscope, then you can easily do it by using this first lesson that is free. The second eclipse is partial lunar eclipse and will happen on the 16th of July at the 24th degree of Capricorn and will mainly affect people with planets from the 19th to 29th degree of Capricorn. Of course, also will affect all of those who have planets in Capricorn or all of us in a way. So what will this very dramatic eclipse bring to us? It will bring uh, the end of some life pattern, some model of behavior that we have gotten over and we do not need it anymore. I stress this because it is very important to understand it. This eclipse is dramatic because it happens in combination with Pluto, the planet of fears, secrets, everything that is hidden, subconscious, great money, mafia if you want, that, or excessive internal transformations. So it's happening with Pluto, which means all of those things. So the universe leads us to abandon some old patterns of behaving, but Pluto shows that we are afraid to do that. So what is the advice, if I may say? It is trust the process and let go. What you are about to let go of is probably some kind of behavior or lifestyle you've been needlessly holding on for too long time. The purpose of this transit is to teach you that you can achieve something new that maybe you really crave for. Maybe you just do not realize that you can have it or you can be that. I hope it's clear enough and I hope it will be useful for those who are watching this video. So if I have to say what is the main topic of both eclipses in July 2019, then in one word saying, that's the past. Every one of us will deal with the past during the year 2019 and 20, and July only stresses us. How will this concretely manifest? Well, for example, people can come back from our past and we need to deal with them and to learn something or we return home, or we repeat something that our members of the family were repeating, or we are in the situations that we were doing in the past, or we are doing with the old family issues. So we are going into the past to understand something that we can leave it maybe and go to some, some completely new uh, lifestyle or into something completely else. Where and how this will happen depends on personal horoscope. So if you wish to talk about your personal transformation, please feel free to contact me. Another key thing that I would say is emotions in July. There are too many of them. So what to do when there are so many emotions and we feel them individually and collectively? Well, the best thing that I can say is just not to do anything. Uh, and it is really so, you know. The best is actually not to deal with collective emotions that much, not to be involved that much in collective happenings, but to deal with these things individually. And to learn that, it can be very useful, conscious breathing. Conscious breathing is a very popular thing now also in Europe and in America, under the influence of Indian yogian techniques, many people practice this, they do prana breathing every morning and I have a link to some 
conscious breathing that is on my web pages i will put this under this video that i can recommend but you can easily find it also on youtube learn conscious breathing and learn how to let go this energy that is coming through you don't hold it inside just let things go just breathe let's say i know it sounds very general but it is really so Okay, now let's let me mention some important days in july and look that on that what we said is our astrological calendar for july from the beginning of the month until the 12th of july it is a time to free oneself from the old karmic debts in a way consciously or sub unconsciously so some people will be conscious of this process and many will not be this is a job but it can also happen to them this is a job, first of all, for those who are more interested in their personal and spiritual growth and have developed introspection. They can gain from this transit a lot. This aspect influences mainly cardinal signs, but others also in a way. From uh, July the 2nd to the end of the month, Mars is quite strong. It's in Leo and give us the courage, but the bravest among us are going to be Leos themselves. On the 18th and the 25th of July, Mars is especially strong and works to show us that the path of healing is just, is just the path of Dharma, which means moral life and respect for the universal laws. Just respect universal law and you will heal that what is uh, what is hurting you, what is giving you trouble. Uh, this will mainly feel, feel fire signs, so Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. On July the 10th, 11th and 14th, the struggle for the inner light takes place again, and that is the most, uh, the, the strongest, will, that this will also, the strongest will feel cardinal signs again. And this is something that will happening on the collective level, on the mundane level. Many people will even feel it, even if nobody says anything to us about this. From the 18th to the 24th are important days for Venus, which is a planet of relationship, of erotic relationship and property. Its aspects show that conflicts in relationship are resolved by a rational agreement. That's quite good. Because Venus aspects are uh, very dramatic in, in a few days during July. So this rational resolution is quite good at the end. Venus aspects will mainly affect Libra, Taurus, Cancer and Capricorn people. And the last days in July are under the influence of the square between Sun and Uranus. The square shows that especially Leos and Taurus, but all of us in a way, need more freedom or we need to promote our ideas more freely there are a lot of retrograde planets as we said in july and uh, that means that uh, we are dealing very intensively with many uh, like say let's say small issues and we are internally preparing for bigger steps from september 2019 on so if you have planets in Cancer and Capricorn, you may have big tension in July. And I said what to do, well, the best thing that I recommend is this conscious breathing. Now I have many clients who are especially Cancer or Capricorn people, and we usually do Theta healing or we do, uh, and we do conscious breathing. If you're interested in theta healing also, feel free to contact me. I do theta healing on distance online as others are doing it. Theta healing is very good now with those transits because that's the method that helps us to remove old prejudice or all patterns of behavior. This is exactly what we are now doing with, dealing with. So let's see now what each sign of the zodiac can expect during the July 2019. Aries will leave behind some of their ambitions, if it's possible. Aries do not ever leave their ambitions. But now must be something like that. Why? Because life is offering something better to them. 
they will also start thinking about authorities <coughs> or their parents or those that they were impressed with before, they will understand them in a new way. And even they will abandon them. And that's a good thing. Also, we'll have the opportunity to create new home or better family environment. For many, this is a crucial period for creating new home, dealing with real estate or family issues. Many areas are very brave and wise in, now in July, and love should flourish for them. Taurus people. Taurus people feel that the revolution is coming. For some of them, it's already started with Uranus. Some will feel it in the next years. July is ideal for them for learning and traveling. Uh, learning or traveling should bring them new spiritual growth and new inspiration. Perhaps by meeting with new people and establishing new relationships, they can learn how to deal with uh, their issues in the future in a new way. They will be inspired to do something new, to have a new hobby, to, uh, to go for a new, completely new things. For example, if they were interested in design before and they never did it, they can do it now. If they were interested before in agriculture or dealing with food and they didn't do it, they will do it now in a way, you know. There is going to be big shifts in the years to come for many Taurus people. And July offers them a possibility to learn something about that. Too many people have interesting um, period with eclipses, it mean, mainly with eclipses. It means that... Um, uh, that they have to leave some old patterns of behaving with others or stop be that much dependent on others. If they learn to be less dependent on others, they can really have better life in the future. It will be much easier for them to live. So the key things for them are self-esteem and self-respect. That is a key terms for them this month but if they understand it, then they will use understanding of this for their whole life. So, if they want to be independent from others, or they want to make uh, money themselves, or they want to feel emotionally secure, they need to simply to understand that they can be alone. Nothing will happen if they're alone. You know, so they need to grow up in a way, in an emotional way. And also... I'm saying learn to respect themselves. If they respect themselves, they will not that much be dependent on others or they will not just have contacts just to have contacts. They will have only contacts with people who they really love or they really need. So that's it about Gemini. And Cancer or Crab people. So those who have planets in Cancer, better to say in Crab. So many things happening in crab this month and through Capricorn, of course, it is a time for those people to accept new challenges in life. The sooner they get rid of the past, which is so important for them, and as soon they accept new challenges of any kind, the better will be. So for cancer or crab people, changing job, changing profession, moving house, accepting chief position at their job, changes of the status of their family, or things like that. These are subjects that they are dealing with. And, of course, what is here else is important to understand? Leave the past and direct your energy towards future. Julie is only emphasizing this. You have time, you can deal with these subjects in the, this year, next year, and enter a new life phase from 2020 on. Leo people have a very turbulent and challenging month ahead, and this continues in August when many of them celebrate their birthdays. It's time for them to improve the situation at their work, maybe to work less, maybe to have different rhythm. They may be to need to learn things about diet, about sleeping habits, and so on. Leos do not like those issues very much, but it's time for that. They're also very active, but they need the rest. So it's a good now time for them in July to have an active holiday. 
Virgo people accept new people, new friends, and many of them realize that it is time to open for others. Perhaps if you are a, Lib a Virgo, if you are a Virgo person, I don't know if I said Libra before, I wanted to talk about Virgo. So if you are a Virgo and you have been learning or doing something in isolation in the past years, far from the eyes of the public, now it's time for you to go into the world where you will meet new people and you will be interested in new things. Some Virgo people will change their attitudes toward their children, abandon some expectations they had before from the loved ones or their lovers indeed. And maybe they will, with this transit in July, understand better their love life or anything that is about the fifth astrological house, so the heart issues. Libras. Libras have many planets on the cardinal axis as well as areas. It's time for them to leave behind the old idea of family or home. This is a fantastic thing. Many Libras are afraid of that. But if in the past you did not have a home, perhaps now you will have a home. If you thought you will never have, have huge, wonderful home, maybe you will have it in the now and in the future. Just be ready for that and leave old patterns of behaving in this area of your life. So life leads them to somewhere else. And when they leave old prejudice and old models of thinking and behaving about their family, family life, emotional life even, then uh, the universe will give them much more than they expected. So there are new opportunities for career progress also, and even more will come next year. Scorpio. They have very active partnership life in July. There is a lot of action with partner maybe already. So they can travel together, they can do something else together. And that will significantly broaden their views on life. It's a good time for Scorpio people to learn to listen to others, especially significant ones and to express their thoughts in a more comprehensible way. So communication is one of the issues now. Sagittarius. It is time for them to leave behind old models of behaving that, that concern money issue, earning and self-valuation, three things especially. You know? Money, earnings, anyhow, and self-valuation. They want to be financially successful and respected by others. <clears throat> then it is time to live all self in this area of life. So if they were too modest, they should change that. Or they are other type of Sagittarius who over-exaggerate everything. So also their value. So it's time to change that. Everything depends on your personal horoscope. If they were maybe self-oppressive, then they could have now, uh, they, they could now learn that this had influence on their income. I hope you understand what is this about. Capricorn, we said everything is in Capricorn. So Capricorn people, especially those who have planets about the 20th degree, have to abandon their old self in a way. And this sounds very strange. But it is really something like that, that they are looking and finding new identity. New identity is already being prepared. And this will also have a profound effect on their professional life. Many will feel it already, some people later in the year or only next year in the 2020. But it is here. Those things are here already. The braver they are, in the process of transformation, the better will be. The brave ones will have great life after the 2020. So that's why I insist that much on that. Leave the things behind and don't be afraid. July also emphasizes the importance of a partnership life or a family life. So those Capricorns who are, afraid, who are alone maybe will understand now why they should have partnership life as everybody else or others will understand how important that is for them. Aquarius. Nothing will happen to Aquarius people without deep introspection. 
So if they were refusing that until now, July or months around will show that it can't be without introspection. So the more they enter into the deeper layers of their personality, the better will be. Furthermore, it is very important that they learn to take care of their health and to learn to better manage time. Everything leads them now towards that. Their magical formula is in July, dream less and accept the reality as it is. Pisces people, they have the opportunity, better than ever, to understand what do they really like in life or what they love even. They are dealing with heart issues. So it's not possible. They can be sometimes very phlegmatic, those Pisces. So that cannot be that, that nothing makes you happy and that you don't feel joy of life. Why not? This is only the thing of discovering that. So think what your heart says. And think of that. How do you behave with those who you love? How do you behave towards your children? What do you do with your love partner? Uh, do you express love freely? And try to learn how to do that if you do not do it. If you, do not, if you are not satisfied with that. If those around you are not satisfied with that, how you do it. To just be brave and listen to your heart would be the message for Piscean people. And that's all for today. If you wish to have personal consultations with me, you we can talk, no problem, contact her under this video. That what I do is astrological psychology and spiritual astrology. All contacts are, as I'm saying, under the video. Uh, I also offer consultations based on Tita healing and Feng Shui. Some sort of readings I record and send in audio form, such as what is the meaning of your existence, or the most important life transits, or next three year transits and so on. Check that if you are interested in audio reading. Further, I offer online course of astrology for beginners. The name is the basics of tropical astrology level one can be useful also for those who deal with astrology but they are not really sure in it so they can uh, maybe um, improve their knowledge with this course. It's very easy to learn because those videos are interactive that you can, and you can watch them passively or actively by answering the questions that will appear on the screen. You touch the screen, you answer and you continue. So it's a modern way of learning. learning. Uh, also, this way of learning can help you to repeat regularly and to memorize easily. So check it, check my demo video about this online course and you will see how the course is designed. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for that. Right here or via Facebook if you have any further questions. Until next time, I wish you to understand your past in the best possible way and to make a step towards great future.